Hello everyone, it is I, your host S. Any newcomers, you can call me Sly, you can call me Faith, you can call me whatever it is you want to call me. It really doesn't matter, I answer to most things. Uh, unless you're trying to get on my nerves and then I just ignore you. That's just usually how it goes though. This is going to be a rando reading for all signs, so if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it, it's just a card game. It won't work if you don't believe in it, right? Right. If you want a personal reading after this, my email, Facebook, and Instagram is below, along with all the information on the reading. First one's on the house. After that, everything comes with a price, of course. Doing a looking glass spread today. So far, we got the Queen of Cups and Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Someone settled well in their money. They still got some shit on their mind when it comes to a relationship. Now we got the Three of Cups and the thoughts and feelings and the root of that. Six of Swords Reverse. Hmm. Someone trying to conjure somebody back. It's very, very interesting. I don't know. For anyone who's really new, like, I made this... I made this board. I'm very proud of it, so I'm going to be using the overhead camera for a while. Because I'm proud of this. <laughs> like, it's very rare that I, like, show it off and talk about stuff I do. You know, that's just how I do. Alright. What's coming to deal for this Quirit right here? We have the Ace of Pentacles. There's an offer coming up that's very well enrooted. They might feel like giving up, though. Possibly on this scenario, we're looking for a reason to stick around with somebody, I think, from over on this yonder right here. And they're trying to use their friendly neighborhood bitch witches to uh, conjure something up, right? Then we got the hanged man. Crossroads! Crossroads. Let's move this over here some, because these are bigger cards. Yes. Okay. What's the vibration for this read, please? Seven of Swords. Someone was possibly being a sneaky sneak, so they're carrying some guilt with them. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, I do like how this looks now. Yes. I'm gonna move these over some. I'm still trying to figure out where to exactly to put the cards, where I could still see on the camera. But at the same time, I don't want it too dark, because, you know, well, I guess... That's a little bit. Ah, sorry, Gretchen. Gretchen's tears, of course. Uh... Just trying to make it a little bit more proper, really. That's good. I think that's just fine. But now it's not, like, in the circle. Damn it. With my fucking... Okay, sorry. I'm being neurotic right now. But that's okay. It's giving me time to look over these cards a little bit. Which I wish would straighten up just slight. Okay, there we go. There he goes. Anyway, so we got someone here who's really comfortable with themselves. Queen of Cups right here. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But they feel like there is a solid foundation here, probably keeping somebody and themselves in this, uh... It's a very valued position, right? It's like, me and this person together can conquer the world because they see themselves as silver. I feel like. Then we have this three of cups over here. I like to say that this is like some witches or some bitches trying to conjure some shit with the Three of Cups when it comes to this deck, because look at them, they're all just doing spell work, witchcraft together, right? In order to um, conjure up something to give them a reason to stick around, or something, they're conspiring of some sorts, right? Now there is an offer here that is rooted in great value, but someone feels like not defending themselves or giving up on a scenario because it feels like time is up with the hangman. It's time to surrender something, time to yield. Time to give something up, and they feel like they just need to walk away with all the injury they had. And just let that shit go. Sadness, really. So, let's see. Oh, and for anyone wondering, like, all the music I use in my videos, I list in the description box as well. They'll be the very first thing if you want to check them out. Because I prefer chill music. I don't know, I'm just like a really ghetto reader, I guess. Alright. Queen of Cups to right here. 
And she's got her legs spread like, no! My cooch is powerful. Look at that lightning bolt right in between her legs. Like, boom. The power of my pantaloons, you know? Ooh, that's very smart. Let's see. She's using her intuition. She's just not voicing anything about it. She might be keeping things in the back of her head. Like, you know, it's there. It's just in the pool right now, a little bit murky. She hasn't really taken the time to invest in it. Um, something to do with, it, uh, speaking of investment, hmm, something to do with work or like investing in a business of sorts. Like she's not using her intuition to see clearly on how to establish this offer. The Ace of Pentacles once again, like either her intuition is telling her that like, Money is not going to work in this, or whatever you're investing, or this person, the Quirin, is investing, is, um, I don't know, like, what's the, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, it's not gonna work out in their favor, like, whatever was invested in, just, it, 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 it went sour, hmm, let's see, Ace of Pentacles. They still have some value for somebody. And then when they're together, they don't have much value in themselves, though. Could be a Queen of Wands right here. Someone's trying to feel some stuff out right here. When it comes to a battle where they outwitted somebody, so the person ran away. And that's the same person. They just decided, you know, like, I'm giving up on these cups. So either this person's kind of reflecting back, feeling out how all things went down between them and the person they got went into a battle with, of mind games and such, and how they decided to walk away from all this. They still cherish the person, I feel like, but it's like, you know, they're a queen, but they're keeping themselves feeling like they're a little bit silver in the background. Maybe they feel as though, like, they feel comfortable with themselves. They still have hope, I feel like, with the Queen of Cups. Because this Queen of Cups is, like, chill. Like, she's not hostile. She's not losing her shit. She's got glasses on, so she's able to see a little bit more in depth than anything. You know, you would consider, like, water signs are very psychic, almost, because they're so fluid with their emotions. Not saying that they're sane, but, you know, who's really sane here? But it's like, there's a, like, I don't know, it's like, someone's emotions are just like, mm, I'm really worried about something not working out when it comes to, like, a work investment or something. Maybe they felt like they screwed something up here. And down below, they're kind of worried about somebody they were close to, but this person made them feel less of a queen. Like, they're feeling this shit out, and they're trying to remember. Three cups, some witchies. Conjuring up some studies. Conjuring up something. Could be a group of people doing some stuff. At least it's not reversed, so it's not anything too terribly bad, but all these people are gathered together to make something happen. Um, but there's no leap of for like, there's no leap of faith taken. Like, someone isn't trying to start a new slate. Um, I think they are trying to communicate with their guides somehow, or communicate with them, or talk to somebody on a more astral plane. Ah! What is this shit right here? Mmm. <laughs> Strange. Okay, so. This person has like. I feel like, you know, I, like, I'm not even worried about the signs right now, because I'm, I'm definitely reading just for one person, right? So it really doesn't matter. Sure, I could I say them out, but, it, but it's not going to do anything, really. But someone is definitely remembering some bullshit. Like, these are people all gathered together. And the response of these people gathered together is, like... Someone's not taking a leap of faith. They're talking to their guides, and their guides are telling them, hey, it's a trap. Don't go for the pussy. 
Don't do it. It's a trap, bro. Don't let your guard down. Like, this person's trying to, like, remember. It's a thought or a feeling. It's like they're, with the Queen of Wands over here, they're definitely sensing that there are people here who are trying to cause them to come forward, but they're resisting because they're listening to, like, they're listening to their intuition. For real. But there's something murky about their intuition as well. It's like there's something like they can't necessarily grasp or it's just out of reach. Or maybe they just have no experience with their intuition, but they can feel that shit. Like, it's like, it, it, it's like, I sense it, you know, like they just know, like there's something there that's causing them to know. I want to clarify the seven of swords because that's what I do now. Like, if it fits on the board, I add more to it. And I never usually do it if it's in the shadow realm, which is not on the board, like, where you can't see my hand. Well, can you see it right... Kinda, you can kinda see it right there. But anything that touches the table. Anything that touches the table. But it's on the board, so now I can clarify. So what's with the Seven of Swords? Why are they put in this vibration because of this? How are they moving away because they're hiding shit oh okay um they are totally on the fucking run just not even trying to yeah Ew. so yeah they, like there are these people gathered together trying to bring together or have someone have a reason to stick around and this person's resisting it. It's like, yeah, they're not hearing their intuition the way that they should. But their guides, they are listening to. Their guides, they are picking shit up. And their guides are telling them, that's a hoe. Like, she'll poke holes in your condoms if you let her. <laughs> Which is terrible to say, but that's kind of the equivalent. It's just kind of like this person's setting a trap to keep somebody. Like, their guys are coming in and be like, don't you talk to that bitch with her no-shoe-having ass. <laughs> like, what, like, what woman lives in a cave and wear white? Ooh. One that's greedy, looking for someone, and still expecting another chance, I would say. Well, that answered my fucking question. I'm going to keep my mouth shut now. So yeah, the Seven of Swords. This person is in this vibration. They're trying to get away from having to feel as though they have to trug a large suitcase with a bunch of snakes in it. It's like... Usually the Seven of Swords in most decks is like sneaking. But this is like carrying around your guilt, you know? Sorry, I need to shave down the edges. I just haven't gotten there yet. I haven't gotten there yet. My apologies. But this is like, look at him. He's carrying his guilt around like a heavy weight full of snakes and shit. And it's like this person's trying to run away from all this treachery that's been going around them. You know, willing to fight for in order to kill the, the hell off. There's Scorpio's card right there. Mm. So now with this Six of Swords, right? They were looking for a reason to stay to begin with. That's the root of all of these emotions and thoughts and feelings. Yeah, because they, do, they, don't, they don't have any more love in it. It's just like, nah, man. I'm, I'm good. I am good. I am so good. I need, I, I'm taking my turtle, and I'm making sure you know it. You know, because this stuff is a never-ending cycle. It just keeps looping around and around. I think they recognize that. And it would be a large injustice on everybody's part. Like, looking for a reason to stick around would not be a good idea for this. Okay, so this person is definitely, like, taking into consideration that they don't want to go back to a scenario where I think, I'm not sure if someone did them wrong? It's like, maybe this person doesn't see their part in playing in it but they're still gonna argue 
You know, it's just like, yeah, I know I might have fucked up, but here's what the fuck you did. You know, like, they're kind of putting that shit out there. Like, if they deliver anything, it's going to be an R. Kelly package. Because, you know, there it is right there. R. Kelly package. It's not going to be a good package. Ugh. Like, I, I, but it's like, it's like this person feels justified, but it's like, it's not because of their intuitions being murky, because they, they're getting ideas, they're getting things to do, they're being told exactly what to do by their fucking guides, like, the, the bitch is looking directly at him as she's pouring the water in as a sacrificial, um, gift to her guides and there's even a rose behind the show like there is a uh, love connection almost here between the two so there is some like relationship between her and her guides but the thing is it's like her intuition's murky so she's listening to them until i think she can get to where she needs to go she might even be a bit paranoid i don't know why i'm calling this person a she but it's probably a she most likely could be dudes too you know Take that into consideration. I'm not trying to be rude or anything. I promise. But it's kind of like this person is, um, it's like they know, but there's something that they're still blocked in information by, right? Like, they're in, like their intuition's murky. They don't know if their investment is going to go well, and they feel like they fucked everything up. Especially with this um, magician right here with the Wheel of Fortune shadow side reverse, as I like to call it, um, took fate into his own hands and it did not work out. You know? Hmm. Now just taking a breath, like, you know, because her eyes are not open. No, she's using her senses. She's using what she feels in order to, um, Find a solution. Like, that's the Queen of Wands. Like, she uses, like, her expression, her emotion, her senses, her vision, her third eye to find things. Fire signs, right? Um, usually Sagittarian card, I like to say, because, you know, why not? She's cute. And I'm Sag rising, so that's what I want. And I love, I love the bitches in this deck. I really do. But it's like she's using her senses, her emotions, what she... She, it's like she's trying to concentrate on what she can't figure out. Like, she's still got, like, the love here for this person. But it's like she escaped for a reason, but it's still unclear to her why. Or she thought that she escaped and maybe is second-guessing herself, too. Either or. All right. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. This is just... Oh, I'll try to do a love reading tonight, too. Fuck it. It's not going to hurt anything. Like, it really won't. <laughs> oh, I like this song. This is, like, one of my favorites. Just because it's, like, nice and calm. Let's see. Ace of Pentacles. This is a rooted offer. This is a good offer. This is a good offer. This is a shit offer. Work environment or investment or business or some sort of um, in venture or some shit, right? What does this ace say? Um, might not start out all that sunny, if at all. Might not be a sunny beginning. Something didn't work out the way it did in the past. And someone feel like they're just looking outside just being like, oh man, I want to be where the, what the fuck, how does that go? Where the happy people are or something like that? Or I just want to be out where the sun touches. I don't want to be in the shadow zone anymore, Mufasa. Let me go to the land that touches the sun. God, I need to watch that movie. I haven't seen it yet and I'm just kind of jealous that my siblings did. Let's see. Seven of Wands, reverse. Someone feels like giving up. Uh, feeling like an enemy. Ew, a book came out. They want to go somewhere. Because, you know, it, it, like they just pretended to be asleep for a little while. And everything just burned down. Like, you know, they didn't want to deal with shit. They did, like, when they fought, they fought with like a lot of passion, but no direction. 
like projection with other people. They're trying to get in tune with their emotions and sacrifice vices and shit. But they're almost at the end. It's just they still aren't looking at that phoenix, that glow. You know, there might be somebody else glowing up around them and they just can't stand seeing it. Or they just don't realize they're supposed to go to the bird and, and you know, be, I don't know, consumed by it or something. Does that make sense? Is it a good thing you want to get consumed by a fiery bird? Is it actually orange because it's on fire, or is that just the color of its feathers? I've always wondered that, but I've never seen a phoenix, nor do they ever describe that. Well, no, there was one book that described it, and I can't remember what the hell it's called, but it was like they kept this phoenix in a cage, and they were just like, oh, it's going to be a great spectacular event. We're going to starve this phoenix, and then it's going to resurrect itself. And... It happened. The bird finally died. But what people didn't know is, is that phoenixes um, erupt when they die. And then they are brought back to life by the fire. So the entire area, the crowd and everything that came to watch, the entire um, event and possibly a block out was consumed in fire. So the bird could rise again. And it was just kind of like, wow. Deep. I don't know. But it's kind of like that. It's like everybody's going to... Oh, Lord. Wow. So, like, this part... Okay, this person's at a crossroads to possibly a new fucking cycle. Because this is... That, that was weird that I remembered that. That was, like... I don't even remember what grade I remember reading that story in. But I remember that story. I wish I... If anybody knows the name of that story, let me know. But I feel like that's kind of what this is doing right here. It's just like, this person's becoming a phoenix. And it's like everybody killed it, so then it resurrected itself, and now everything is on fire, and everybody's just burning to death. But metaphorically, not literally. So it's just kind of like, this is like... In some intense shit, yeah. Very intense. <laughs> like, this person's trying... This person's on the verge of like... What is it that people call it? Ascension. This is a person on the verge of ascension. And they want to get the fuck away from whoever this is from back in the day. They're waving bye. Like, bye, bitch. Don't drown. I'll see you later. I'll, I'll see you later. When will later be? I don't know, but it's not now. You know, they're, they're taking off on a boat. They feel like they're an enemy here. Like, they just want to wave bye byes That's all. They want to go bye byes That's all. <laughs> So let's see. The hanged man. What is up or down with him? <laughs> oh my god, that was a stupid fucking joke. But that was my joke. Got a King of Cups here. He's got his back turned. Like, he's not being a douchebag, but he's just not paying attention or he's just not acknowledging because he's got his own shit to worry about. You know. Um. Uh, okay, so cancer could be in here somewhere, but it's like going to this dude would be a dead end in a scenario where the road is is crumbling into the universe and you could barely escape. So I I, I would say don't go in his direction. That's not a good idea. That person seems like they're leaving a lot of destruction in their wake. Whoever they are. Oh! They're at a crossroads. What? What? Okay, I'm drawing one more, because now I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? What? What is this? I don't understand. Why? What? It's the same... Th like, okay... I'm saying endless cycle just from that. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? I've been listening to the Ghetto Nun too much. Damn it. I'm not trying to sound like her, but, like, what does this mean? <laughs> or worse, Brad Pitt from, like, World War Z. Just, oh my goodness. What? I'm not sure how I'm supposed to take that. It's like...
Yeah, I'm drawing one more because that's like... Like if you go, like if they go, if, if this person goes in this direction, they're just going to be end up in the same spot as before. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, and like lack of, no control over the situation either. With the Empress shadow side reverse, just looking out in the world, hoping for shit. Hoping to join the real world. Still wanting to escape, but I just feel like they wouldn't. Or they would escape silently as the King of Pentacles. This is confusing. And no more fighting. Like, I'm really... Yeah, okay. Giving up on a relationship? Because he's alone, this, and he's not putting up a fight, but here's two people. Well, damn. Okay, so, what happens after all of this? Because this was like, okay, yeah, this is, a, this is a phoenix rising from the ashes. This is an ascension, is what people would call it, I think. If I remember correctly. This is where someone, like, I don't know. Let's see, no love's being offered. Sorry, I was quiet for a minute, I was concentrating. Um,. For a happy ending, but things just don't end. Something isn't over. Between these lovers? Ooh, oh my goodness. With no decisions being made right now? Yeah. No, not gonna be any communication about looking for a reason to stick around with a mooch. And after a while, someone's really gonna look at that and be like, you know what, that's probably for the better because I don't think I wanted to deal with a person who, uh, would end up making me unhappy. Mm. One more. So they give up. They give it up. This person is on the verge of doing something. I don't know, but they're definitely um, growing. But yeah. Very interesting read for whoever this is. Um, but that's the end of the reading, y'all. If you like this or enjoyed it, you're welcome to like, share, and subscribe. No pressure, of course, that's up to you. I love each and every one of you, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.